And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the final adventure with Caitlyn. We are going to be facing Victor now. We just defeated Nautilus. We're going to keep our uh, good luck rolling and try to face Victor now. All right, so we're going to change our relic item. So going back to what we have, we have almost enough reputation to get a common relic item to go along with our rare relic item, but we only have enough for one. And it could be a common or a rare. We've been using that when I survived damage grant me plus two plus two, but it's been, eh, it's been okay. It hasn't been absolutely amazing. I want to use this Ravenous Hydra instead though, because I think that this could work really well with all of our flash bomb traps. And so Caitlyn, when summoned, will deal one to all enemies. So I want to try that out. I actually have never used that before because whenever I acquired this, it was I was already on the Nautilus um, path, and so I haven't used that yet. So let's go ahead and use that. I think that one should be pretty good. We're going to go face uh, Victor that says that every one of their foes, instead of just having tough, they're just going to have a random keyword. Right? Last time they all had tough. This time they get random keywords. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. So what is our power going to be that we start with? Ah, uh, three common powers. They're all whatever. So we got four rerolls for a reason. Round start Frostbite the strongest enemy is a really good power. So we're going to go and go with that. That's a very good power. That slows the game down also, which, you know, the longer the games, the better for the flash bomb trap. So not a bad one. Okay, our first opponent will have will be Plaza Guardian, and they will create a Plaza Guardian in hand if they don't already have one each round. Sounds good. Let's get to it. Alright, so we, we do have a common power on one of our starting cards in our deck, and so I guess I should see which starting card it is and what power it is. Um, which I guess we can't see yet. Okay, definitely Mulligan 4 mana cards. We'll keep the Caitlyn. Alright, Karen Antonio wants the Ionia board. We'll switch that after this. Okay, so our Stude Academics draw cards. Okay, that's... Sounds pretty cool. That's all right. Now it draws a card, so it gets the plus one, plus zero. Keep giving them flash bomb traps. I smell a rat. Me miss, not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. Let me get you that fire. Um. Do I want to attack with the astute academic? Yes, I do. So even though they can block and go to one health. Yeah, that means just like one flash bomb trap will finish off the station archivist, and I'll take that trade. Trade my one drop that already drew a card for their three drop. Hmm. I think I scout. So I'm hoping they don't have another spell that cost zero mana. All right, good. Get that thing out of here. Probably getting greedy by not just attacking immediately. Lifesteal. Alright, we've been giving them tons of flash bomb traps. You'd think they'll start drawing them eventually. They have 19? I drew 5 right there. I guess I didn't need to attack with my 3 2 to get some damage in against it. Because, yeah, they really hadn't been drawn very many. Yeah, then still have 14 now in the top 9 cards. 
Okay, a six six. So we'll be blocking with the two one. Um. Let's go with the justice Suspicious rider. Suspicious activity detected just outside the station. Stay on them. Backup's on the way. Oh no. Oh good. <laughs> Oh, this thing's elusive? Yeah, I guess that's elusive. Okay, well. I guess we'll block with this one then. Yeah, good call. I missed that. that it, it was elusive. I went no no because I thought they were going to have like their 0 1 challenger challenge my 2 1 and then I wouldn't be able to block, but it was just elusive anyway, so. I guess that's the thing. Alright, get our double agent in. And. They're passing? Another double agent in. Strike. No, no, no. Let's strike with y'all first. I should have done this first anyway. I should have just got rid of that blocker. But then they probably display a new blocker. I guess that makes it more difficult for me to for them to draw traps if they're you know they're putting all those cards in, then I guess they don't draw as many traps. Yeah, like that card had no traps on it. Huh. Mystic shop. Should do the job. I need to get better I need to get better emotes. Let's fix our emotes. We're going to be changing to the Ionia board because Gran Antonio redeemed to change the board. And then let's let's change our emotes too. These are all pretty bad. Sump Fumes is like the only kind of playable one, but that's not even very good. We're going to send this back. Um, Stinky Wump's okay, but not that good. I would rather have the Heroic Charge with the Caitlyn, I think. So the Caitlyn can strike an enemy and then give them more Flash Bomb Traps, I guess. It's not even that great either, though. We have two rerolls left. Yeah, we'll take this Heroic Charge. I don't know. I don't, I don't love that. Elise Garen Nasus. We could be a pretty decent Nasus deck if our flash bomb traps are like killing lots of stuff. The card that we just grabbed is good with Garen, and Concerted Strike is good with, you know, like both of our champions with Garen and stuff, and Bright Steel Protector is a good card. So like the Garen's are the Garen's really strong. Um we'll go with that. Because I don't really want Sand Spinner, Weight of Judgment. Like, those are whatever. Let's go with Garen. Just like last time we had Demacia. Let's go with Demacia again. All right, so let's see. We have healer. I don't want. I don't care about card shop. Eh. Use cast salesman, which could be cool, or gold chest. Eh. I guess use cast salesman is probably the best out of all those. So this one. Oh yeah, this one's lucky finds. That's a. That's not bad at all. And all units summon change their stats. Nah, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Let's go to the Profit Seekers. Alright, change our loadout. Let's go to Ionia board. And... I need to be able to Braum wave. Let's go get us some Braum wave. Say hello. And who are we? We're Caitlyn. We got... Alright, we got our Caitlyn emotes. We're good there. We do need like a GG's though. And... No, that's good. And this new Jinx emote that I've never used before. I don't think I've used either of those new emotes before. Profit Seekers. <laughs> uh, should we keep one gear in? We can probably keep a Garen. But they're like, hey, you got some new Demacia cards. You want to use them, right? Alright. 
Hopefully nothing too good. Ah, uh, two, three. Gross. All right, what do we get? Quick attack, overwhelm, or make ours a two, three. Well, a two, one quick attack or overwhelm doesn't match up with a two, three, so we'll just make ours a two, three as well. Got a lizard and a shovel. Got a lizard and a shovel. If it's made of sand, I can write. I don't know if that's like the start of like a joke or if it's the start of like a song. <laughs> that poor rock hopper. Getting frostbite. Getting. Uh, scout? Me? Miss? Not by a long shot. Okay. Ravenous Hydra was pretty cool there. They're like, look at my big 6-4 fearsome. How about no? It's getting frostbit. Okay. Uh, impact. That's going to do a point of damage to me. For king and country. Could have built over Peacemaker Dip, but I'd rather just play Garen. And we'll give Garen a keyword, because Garen cool. Garen Challenger. Yeah, Garen Challenger sounds cool. Practice, as they say, makes perfect. Our deck is awesome. Let's investigate. Think you can take me? I don't know. It's so nice having these flash bombs like actually do stuff again. She gets it. Uh, we'll just do one. Here's my calling card. We'll see how many flash bombs they draw. Maybe they just draw three flash bombs and it just kills us right away. I don't know why they wouldn't just use the lucky find. Yep. Didn't need to use the other. We got our Justice Riders doing their thing. Oh no, the predict. The predict shuffles the deck, so now, you know, like those 15 flash bombs that were in the top 10, now they're just random. Yeah, that card's kind of big. I'll give it to you. Wrong way. Do do. Stay resolute. Okay, so they're still at six. Mystic shot. Pass. Let's see what happens with flash bomb traps. Just one right there. We're going to be finishing this at 26. I have a feeling. That's more than a feeling. Okay, so we're still at 26. Yeah, Caitlyn gets really powerful whenever flash bomb traps actually kill stuff. And, you know, instead of doing zero damage. 
like against Nautilus. Flash of Brilliance just heals three. And then we just... That's not bad. We can take that. Healing our Nexus is always good. So, sure. We'll just take Flash of Brilliance. It's, you know, zero mana heal three. Gold chest or used cask salesman. I don't really care about that gold chest. So we can make a deal. Sell all copies of a card from your deck for... What is this? I guess this is gold? Like, what does this cost? Like, 575 Like, what is... I don't know, what's the... I don't know, I guess that's that's gold. Oh, that's how much we get for the card. Oh, okay, because we're selling it? Okay. Well, heck, we could just sell all these. I don't... <laughs> um, is that actually... Do we actually need any of these cards? It's not like these are bad cards, but... We could also, like, really thin the deck. I guess. Like, veteran... Like, I don't need veteran investigator. A student academic draws me a card, but it's also just, like, a little one-drop, but we don't need it. So that's 150 for the astute, because you get 75 per copy? I'll definitely sell that. Oh, no, we can't just keep selling everything. We can only sell one thing. Lame. Man, I was going to use, like, my rerolls there. I was going to, like, sell, like... Definitely sell that. Probably sell the Veteran Investigator. I think I'll maybe keep Sting Officer. And then, like, re-roll and try to, like, sell more stuff. <laughs> I was like, take all my cards. Dang, that's too bad. Alright, so we got a good amount of gold. Alright, grant a random keyword to the first unit the foe summons each round. Well, they already get a random keyword, so now they're going to get two random keywords. That's still good. We got a lot of, you know, we got to cut a card and get a lot of gold. So that that was a, you know, that worked out. All right, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. We'll keep Caitlyn. So the Azir fight is really tough. Hopefully we can make it through. Because, yeah, the, the hard part about the Azir fight is going to be all of the... Like, the six mana card. The six mana, you know, facing that card over and over. That's going to be the hard part of that fight. It's going to make all those... Oh, yeah, Scout now. Uh, sand Soldiers. That's what... It's going to make all those Sand Soldiers, and then it, it nullifies our, our power of Frostbite and Enemy, and it nullifies the power of the Flash Bombs. What do I do? What don't I do? Alright, might as well just play this, see what's up. Hey, true shot, Raj. Hope you're doing okay. Please make a protocol. You know what my future is? Suspicious activity detected just outside the station. Stay on him. Back up some way. Like I was like putting those together, I was like, do you know what my future is? Suspicious activity. <laughs> Alright, so now they're making that thing a 4-3 quick attack. That's kinda cool. Oh, it has challenger? No. I should buy seal protector with the barrier. I should pay attention more. Wheel. We do what is right. So those things do have like spell shield, so we don't get to we get to heroic charge them. So I, got a new one. I do want to heroic charge so that I I guess we just take out this thing. So that I level up Garen. Uh, not so much, Cranal. Setting up a roadblock. 
I'm pretty sure we've played Ezreal decks with gems in the past, but I don't... Um, I just don't have that great of a memory. I don't remember it in particular. And I apologize about that. I guess we will strike again. Now, it doesn't seem like the assembly bot is too much to be worried about. No, 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 I'll just play you also. This frostbite power has been helping out. That's for sure. Maybe a waste of a concerted strike. Probably is. And I don't really know what else this uh, Bright Steel Protector is doing. We'll just go ahead and play it. Get our attack token. Yeah, that thing's big. Two shot barrage. Okay. Defeated the patch core bot. We still got 26 life. Yeah, that that's what it is. Bobby V says the 600 give everyone vulnerable and summon six sand soldiers card. Yeah, that's the card that will be a problem. Ooh. So we could add two copies of Garen, which which would have barrier and give everybody else barrier. Like all the other two copies of Garen barrier. You know, Vagar draws a card, but we're not really like I don't know if like we're really a Vagar deck. We have Justice Rider with Overwhelm. I guess we just take more copies of Garen. Could use a reroll there too, but you know, like it's a champion. It's the barrier is not that useful, but you know, and just take the champion probably. Oh, Flash of Brilliance would grant the top ally plus three plus three. So we can have it heal our Nexus and give plus three plus three and put an extra copy in the deck. That's all enticing. Sure, Concerted Strike can draw a card, but I think I think I like that. That just just basically zero mana, heal our Nexus three and give a plus three plus three. Like that's pretty cool. Plus then also make a big time spell that could be nice. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so we're about to face Azir. We can either heal slash cut or go to the card shop. We got lots of gold because we sold stuff. Let's go to the card shop. Yuck. Oh, what do you do? Okay. Oh, siphoning strike. Single combat. Reroll token. So single combat make a poro. Siphoning strike. Siphoning strike. Awesome. Just how many copies do we want? Gray Physician's actually pretty good, too. Discard a card to draw a unit. That's actually a good card. I do love Siphoning Strike in, in these modes, though. Because um, they don't usually break them up as easily. Man, but Single Combat's really good, too. So many spells now. Uh, so many spells. Do we need Gray Physicians? Yeah, get Big Garen. Big Caitlyn. Because we need Caitlyn to be able to survive the Sand Soldiers. I need more copies of Caitlyn. Caitlyn seems... Actually, Caitlyn would be perfect to hold on to, like, whenever they play the card that gets them all the Sand Soldiers, because then our Caitlyn has the Ravenous Hydra that d does one damage, right? Like, red cards. So we can hold on... Like, we can kind of fight that. So I have Heroic Charge and Siphoning Strike and Concerted Strike. Gross. 
All right, so yeah, let's gra let's grab some Grave Physicians also, because they can discard like some of these other spells and draw units, and they can draw our champions. I don't usually buy this much stuff at the card shops. Like I don't like watering down the deck, but I do like I do like fight spells with both of our champions quite a bit. This is I have a weird deck. I have a much larger deck than normal. Okay. This looks pretty good. Like single yeah, I think we will keep. Okay, so I don't like the Concerted Strike at all. But my thinking here is that we'll just keep the Concerted Strike and discard, you know, as like, a, since I don't want it, we can keep it as a card to discard. Which, I guess Concerted Strike is just strictly better than a Heroic Charge. So we'll play the Sting Officer first. I smell a rat. But I guess I could have mulliganed it and still found something else better. Uh, 3-5 is big. Death is transient. As long as the body holds blood. Death your Emperor command. I think that's Fury also. Man, this is not good. Solid and cool. Okay, I feel like I messed up at the, that card shop. Son taught me to never let my guard down. Behold the rewards of your service. Keeping pace. Elusive. Cheating. All right, I will pass. So, what I'm worried about of playing now, nah, let's we'll play it. What I'm worried about playing this is then, yeah, that happening. We just wasted. <laughs> uh, I just wasted that flash bomb trap. But I guess it could have hit the elusive, maybe. All right, we're gonna get Garen. Come. I'll pass priority. Let me play the Garen. Let me play Garen. That's rude. The order is given. Take your we're down to down to twelve. I wish I could play the Garen. Kind of rough. Yeah, that's the card. That's the card. Kara goes out to four health. The reason why I want to play the single combat is so we get the one one poro, or like you know, the, the little poro. Um, 
Um, attack. Uh, Garen's gonna die. Hmm. Let's see who comes out on top. Change of plans. All right, so they have 12 flash bombs right now. I'm going to go ahead and block their single combat here, see if we can have them draw some flash bombs. Only kill that thing. Not as good as I was hoping for, but still playable. Alright, so we get to attack. And do I want to use a Mystic Shot on the Sand Soldier? I guess so. I'm not. The problem with all this is I don't have a very good. Elusive. Ooh, okay. Now I'm now I'm in there. Let's say I didn't have Okay. The judgment's good. I guess I I guess I killed a non elusive. I guess. Because the other one's frostbit ten. Oh, what is this? Really? I guess they used two cards, I guess. Yeah, the Mystic was going to let me attack in, but yeah, I know, it didn't work. I'm just running out of cards. I really think I messed up with how, buying all that stuff. Okay, we got a good attack in there. Good attack in there. We have our next defensive round set up with this Judgment. Judgment still leaves me 5 mana, so I can still do this. Um, yeah. You know, I'm thinking if that, that's even necessary if I should just be discarding the, the Siphoning Strike to the Great Position. Alright, two mana. Wait, they get to nab? When when do they nab stuff? Oh, I think I was attack nab one. How about that? Wait, I'm still taking eight damage? Oh, spell shield over here. Gotcha. Alright. You go sit in front of there. 
Okay. We good. Ooh, got a good attack in there. They're down to four. We do what is right. Put him down to one. Coming through! Solving crime! The wheel of war turns ever on one. Our proudest days remain ahead. Flash of Brilliance, that's a great draw. Oh, not as great as I thought. Yeah, the old discarded price still get a get a right steal. That Azir having Scout is gross. I'm really glad they didn't attack with that Azir Scout and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this should work, right? Hopefully. They have five blockers. I got six attackers. They're at one. Yes. Whew. All right, we got through Azir. Even with my wonky way too many strikes deck. We got through Azir. Okay, now we just need some card draw <laughs> to go along with all these strikes because we ran out. We run out of cards. Um, you have one cast draw card. I like that. So you're a scout overwhelm. I like the win cast draw card, but I don't like the whole the rest of the thing. Like I don't care about. Light him up. I'm gonna reroll. I just don't care about any of those. Start of the game, draw me for Bannerman? Okay. Or Hourglass has Predict. We'll just take a Bannerman, I guess. We always have Bannerman. I like that, because that gets you know gets a card out of the deck, basically. I like that. New power, round start, stun the strongest enemy. So how is that gonna work with the frostbite? Right, maybe we just have all of our allies have overwhelm. Or when our ally survives damage, grant plus one plus one. No, or maybe we just reroll. So, because if we're going to like stun an enemy and then frostbite it, that's useless. But if we like frostbite one and then stun another, that could be pretty cool. You think we'll frostbite first because that was our first one chosen? Hopefully, because that, that could be kind of cool. Uh, I think I may just reroll though. We have two rerolls left. Gross. All right, last reroll. Gross. All right, so all of our all of our units have fury. So we have all these fight spells, and now everything's gonna have fury. Yeah, rest in peace are rerolls. Okay, we can either go straight to Victor basically this way, but I kind of think our deck's not very good. So I kind of want to go this way. And the Grumpy Rock Bear is an easier fight than the than that one anyway, so we'll go this way. Because our deck's not very good. Yeah, so Caitlyn and Garen Fury's good. We need more Caitlyn's in our deck and more Garen's. We need more of both of our champions in our deck. Like, we only have two copies of each. That's not very many copies. Alright, so their rock bears are awesome whenever they get rock bears. Keep champion. Start the game by drawing the bannerman. 
We can grave position the bannerman away for something else that's better. So the House Swamp's nice because we can play that and still save three spell mana for Flash of Brilliance. So we gave our top unit plus three plus three. Hopefully we have a Caitlyn right on top. And we draw a Caitlyn here. No. Alright, so gave that elusive. There's Caitlyn, yes. Too bad I don't have enough mana for Caitlyn. But still, yes. Alright, Caitlyn or Garen? Let's go Caitlyn. Let's get Caitlyn in play. Scoping the area. Wasting a lot of mana. Dang. Alright, this is getting pretty big pretty fast. For justice, for the mafia. So much for them having big rock bears. Strike a couple of times so we can level up Garen, so we can round start rally with these. Probably should have just played this double agent first. So much for big rock bears. So this is going to get absurd with our champions with fury with all these fight spells that we have. <laughs> this is going to get absurd. Now I wish I also had that overwhelm power, but you know we have the fury power instead of the overwhelm power. Alright, let's get rid of some blockers. Okay, that's random. Make a protocol. Can't steer. Waters, protect our prosperity. I can see all the players. That strikes them too, because they've drawn two. Three. Okay, our <laughs> if we can set it, that's the thing. If we can draw our champions and set that up, this is going to be absurd. The problem is, is drawing the champions. But as long as we draw the champions, this is going to be absurd. Okay. If we draw our champions, GG's. Another case closed. So all these, so that means that all these future things, it's basically going to be like looking for more copies of our champions. Yes, more copies of the champions and minus one cost for the Caitlyn. 
We don't really need the Garen Fury. We already got that. All right. Another copy of a champion. Okay, spells chest and champion item. Well, we're going there. We're going to get more champions. I'm out of rerolls. So spell shield, challenger, or plus zero, plus two. I don't think we need the plus zero, plus two. They're already infinitely large. So we can either just take challenger or spell shield. Um, either one of those is good. I'm putting it on the Caitlyn. Um, I'm not that worried. We're, we're in like Piltover and Zon, like with Victor. I'm not really that worried about them killing Caitlyn with that. So let's go challenger. All right, over to the item shop. Let's buy a reroll tokens. Now we own one of those. Um, we do not want plunder at cost three less on the Flash of Brilliance, right? Well, we don't have to play it with plunder. I would like another copy of the Flash of Brilliance, though, in my deck. Because it's just heal Nexus 3, give plus 3, plus 3. What do you do when I'm summoned, the strongest enemy, and I strike each other? That's kind of cool. So do I want another Flash of Brilliance in the deck? Maybe not, actually. Maybe we have enough spells. Okay, we probably have enough spells. Um, it is a rare item chest, though, and we have a lot of gold. Let's reroll. Okay, Grave Physician already has Fury. What does it say? When you cast a spell, grant me plus one, plus one. That's a good power. Rogue Charge will cost zero, but then deal five to me. I kind of like that costing zero. That just helps out our Caitlyn and, you know, helps. So we, we have to take five damage. That is pretty cool how, like, you know, we can play a Caitlyn and play Heroic Charge, like, immediately. That is kind of cool. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so this is round start, summon a turret, and then we go to Adaptatron 3000. Another champion item? Alright, we gotta go this way. When the player summons an ally, give it minus two, minus zero this round. That's fine. So all, all of our stuff has minus two, minus zero the round that we play it. Our stuff's going to be, like, super large anyway. And it's just the one round. That's fine. We can figure it out. But then we get a champion item. And I need more champions. Because these are not champions. I kind of want to keep the heroic charge, but we're just going to send them all back. Because we need champions. There's a Garen. Because always how we lose is going to be by not finding our champions. That's like our one way to lose. Alright, we'll discard Mystic Shant. I need that card. Draw a unit. We'll get closer to drawing Caitlyn. No Caitlyn's anywhere. Spell shield. We're still gonna frostbite that though. Caitlyn! Happy to have you here, Caitlyn. Playing the Caitlyn now so I can play the Garen next round. I was, you know, planning on playing the Flash of Brilliance, but. Go ahead and attack, go ahead. No, don't, I, I wasn't serious. Yeah, challenge my Garen. Okay, so you're a 2-4. Man, I can't get you to over 8, can I? Um... Into a 3 5. 
I guess a 3-5 at least kills their Ruin Runner. That's sad I have to have my Ruin Runner die, or my Caitlyn die though. Dude, Spell Shield. So I'm not worried about trying to get the S tier on my life total this run. I like playing that card. Alright, round start rally. I don't know why I didn't just play this protector, probably should have. Yeah, I think it's pretty big. Got a life steal. Kinda cool. Just a girl for motorcycle and justice. How much is that? 23? Okay. We could, you know, do one more point of damage with the protector. Get the other five in. All right, so we're gonna, have, we're gonna have 18 life heading to Victor. I think the next battle is Victor. I feel pretty good about having incredibly large Caitlyn's and Garen's against Piltover and Zaun. Yes. Plus three, plus one on Garen. I will take that. And now a champion item. Ooh, man. Between Ancient Coin and Shadow Totem, this is tough. Like, I love Ancient Coin. I love getting my champions out earlier. But then you get an ephemeral copy, so we can get, like, an extra copy of, like, Caitlyn that has the challenger that's, like, you know, super large with challenger. And then also it strikes and plants two flash bomb traps. Or we just make Caitlyn one mana. We have one mana Caitlyn's kind of broken. Okay, so right now it... Oh, but then the ephemeral copy will summon and do another one to all enemies, so you get two to all enemies... And then you also get a large challenger. Okay, let's go Shadow Totem. Alright, Shadow Totem it is. We'll spend two mana. Alright, we'll keep all those. So, let's heal. Alright, on to the final, final boss. Victor! Final, final boss. with our weird uh, whole bunch of strikes deck. Yes, we got our champions. You can go away. Um, double agent. I think I think double agent's probably worth a keep. Since we already have our champions. If we didn't, we'd send it back. Oh, 3-3 tough? Three, three tough? Also 3-3 three, three tough? Gross. Because now, like, that, you know, that 2 damage doesn't kill either one. Hmm. Could have killed those if I would have passed. Alright, still not not bad though. Got rid of two, three, two, three, three toughs right away. Not bad. Not if I have anything to do Five, with it. Seven? Stop right there. Overwhelm challenger? Guess I do this. Yeah. Um. Hmm. 
I'm always on the right side of things. Another brilliant design. I think it's maybe they challenge this thing. Oh no, Fury and then also plus one plus one. Ugh, so we're not gonna kill it with that. Okay, it's gonna be Frostbitten now. Oh, thanks, single combat. Thanks for showing up now. Light on target. That's fine. Might help, might not. Alright, no flash bomb traps right there. Our goals are greater than petty violence. Show ten stitches to awaken the blood within. Okay, so save and spell mana so I can play Garen and single combat. Why do they all have overwhelm? We fight for those who cannot. Alright, so we have all of our Garens. You're elusive. We could hit elusive Poro. We can block. Looks like we got Fearsome Poro. Spell shield now too. <laughs> to work. What if I need to discard a Garen? Probably not, right? I mean, just having huge Garens with judge like judgment over and over is probably going to be a good thing. We'll just discard this built over peacemaker. Victor and kill me. Another brilliant design. It's possible for that Victor to kill me. Especially, like if they get scout. Okay, I'm taking the pass before something crazy happens. So that thing's a 16-13. The wicked must fall. To me, my little brother. So that takes out the spell shield. Boom! We actually killed Victor. New Victor. But new Victor gonna be smaller. Officer J. S. Hawkshaw. Once I start papers in our bases, our goals are greater than petty violence. I think this judgment may come up clutch. Judgment may come up clutch. So I. 9, 10, 11. I don't have enough for Judgment plus Siphoning Strike. I don't have enough for that plus Judgment. I 
I, whichever way they do that, I'm fine with. Yeah, you know, they just... That was a waste of a Hexec Transmogulator. I guess that thing has Elusive. I can't judgment something that has Elusive. The strikes in our deck are insane, though. Over Peacemaker. Are they out of victors? They only got one other card that we don't know about. This is probably a waste of a uh, judgment, but so we'll see. They get to create a random epic. I'm guessing that epic is Glorious Evolution. Oh, it's True Shot Barrage. Okay. I guess I could attack with a 3-4 also, because yeah, they had to block Garen. Garen's attacking for 20. <laughs> oh, this Garen's pretty silly. Got there! Alright! Another adventure completed. Could have really used some overwhelm, but <laughs> still, GG's. Eventually, get through it all. Get all that reputation points. 400. That's a lot. Okay, we got the rare relic item is just the plus three plus one. Oh, plus two plus one. Okay. So that's not bad. Got S wealth. All right, got an S tier. So that's good. You know, I guess buying all those cards and stuff, I guess that's what got us to S wealth. Um, so, you know, we'll take, take an S tier. Uh, so, so now we, you know, pl going back and playing through, right? Because I've talked about that, like, that I like to go back and play through and try to get S tier on all three with all the champions and all seven. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit, but uh, it's easier whenever you, you continue to level up the reputation level with your champion. So now I know I don't need, don't need to get S wealth. Next time I face Victor, I just have to focus on S health and S speed uh, next time. So, um, cool, cool, cool. So the Machine Herald has been defeated with Caitlyn. We can kind of see, let's check where our reputation is here with Caitlyn. Where our rank up is. Now we're going to have a common relic slot. So we're going to have a rare and a common. We we're already just using a common, so now we can use a rare and a common. And we will have one revive. Which hopefully we don't need to use that. Uh, but we'll keep on going on, and you know, eventually we'll be able to be begin with that with an extra mana gem, and that'll make these even easier. All right, adventure complete. All green check marks across the board with Caitlyn. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know which other champions you want to see recorded and put up on YouTube, um, or anything like that. Which one's your favorite? Uh, you know, anything like that. Chat saying here maybe Pike. Saying Pike is fun. Um, okay, you know, Spike's good, Tom Kench, you know, Yasuo could be fun, Zed or Lee Sin, like Zed you just probably mow him down super fast. So yeah, let me know over there in the comment section. But that's going to be it for this video, so as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.